Howdy boys and girls, welcome to the workshop of Backyard CNC. Glad to have you visiting me today. Today we're going to talk about uh, some nifty little uh, self-adjusting height clamps that I built for use on my milling table and on my fixture plant here where, uh, where they're sitting. These interesting little clamps have a uh, wide clamping range of about uh, up to about two inches without the use of uh, spacing bars on the tail end. and um, the, uh, they mount and clamp down with a quarter inch 20 uh, threaded rod and I use wing nuts on them for convenience. The T-nut that's shown uh, fits the uh, fits the T-slots on my uh, small CNC milling machine but the threaded rod also can be threaded directly into any of the quarter inch 20 holes uh, on the fixture plate here which are currently uh, have little set screws in them to keep the chips out and uh, so you have a wide variety of uh, clamping options for work. An interesting thing about this fixture plate is it does have a, uh, a threaded insert um, in the center uh, three quarter inch 16 which is the uh, thread used by TAG on the uh, spindle of their micro lathe which I have several. So uh, all the chucks and uh, work holding things I have for the lathe can be mounted directly onto this fixture plate which would mount onto the uh, onto the milling table. I uh, do have a small subplate here with two tag milling vices uh, which allows a wide variety of clamping of either multiple items or uh, a single long item. And then we have a little clamping kit with a variety of hardware and uh, nifty little strap clamps and things that you can uh, easily build in the shop on your own CNC mill. And so then uh, We'll come over to the mill here, the uh, TMC-1000 CNC milling machine, a very nice little machine. Uh, and you can see I already have the vise mounted and, uh, and set up. And there's a small fixture plate mounted here, um, which clamps the, uh, the blank for the uh, profile we're going to cut. It is marked in the corner here with, uh, with two dots, uh, which indicates uh, where I've marked the origin for the software. And the blank is already clamped down here with two socket head uh, quarter inch by 20 bolts. It started out life as a blank uh, like this, a piece of uh, one inch by quarter bar stock, uh, which are rough cut on the bandsaw. And then once I get uh, once I get them cut, I generally drill uh, two holes for mounting. I have a separate program which uh, I put four of these in the vise at one time and drill spot drill and then drill the four uh, clearance holes for quarter inch 20 and then the blank that's already drilled can be mounted onto the fixture. When I drill them I do mark the end uh, because the, the two holes are not uh, exactly spaced from either end and of course the distance between the two is, uh, is the critical point. So I mark the end uh, when I drill them so that they don't get uh, put onto the fixture plate in the wrong way. And then after the program runs of course uh, we'll end up with a uh, a profile that uh, that will look like this. So we'll go over to the uh, to the to the software here, and we'll um, we'll hit our cycle start, and we will uh, run the program. It asks me if I've set the speed already, and uh, I give a little warning: set the speed and the Z height which we have been known to bugger up and then we'll hit cycle start again and the machine will run and our tool will come over and then we'll start cutting our little profile I've cut this a few times so the uh, software is relatively optimized um, I'm wondering if we might be a little bit off here Taking about uh, a depth of cut of uh, 65 thousandths, and that'll allow me to cut the profile here in uh, four passes. Um, and we're running at 12 inches a minute right now, so the uh, the cycle time for the part uh, is about five minutes. Not particularly fast, but 
I don't, uh, I don't like to push the machine too much. And then um, it'll just go back and do the same pass, exactly the same thing over again. Of course, we are, uh, our depth of cut here is at 130,000, the second pass. And of course, it's just an exact repeat of, uh, of the previous cut, 12 inches a minute. Uh, spindle speed is about 3,200. Could probably go a, uh, a little bit faster on the feet. I sometimes uh, use a feed rate override and uh, turn them out a little bit faster. But I guess there's no uh, there's no major rush here. This isn't production. I don't sell these parts. Well, I have tried selling them on eBay a couple of times um, with limited success. But mostly I, uh, I make them for my friends from my local machine shop club when they come for a visit and, uh, and I give them a demonstration of CNC. We'll do a little blow off of the chips there. Normally I have the shop back running as I'm doing this, but the uh, shop back of course is quite noisy and that uh, that makes the, uh, the video a little harder to watch. The, um, the mill itself by the way here has a one horsepower spindle and it is a belt drive. Maximum spindle speed of about 5200 RPM. And the mill has uh, has all ball screws on all axes, but um, simply running stepper motors, not uh, not servos. They did make a bigger version of this same mill with servos. And uh, if you should be looking for a good CNC mill, I can highly recommend this uh, this mill. So we're coming around the bottom side of uh, of pass number three there. Coming around the back profile, and our depth of cut is at 195,000. The uh, and the next pass, of course, she'll uh, complete the uh, the cutout. We'll do a little uh, a little blow off of the chips there, and um, so we're now doing the final pass. We're doing a depth of cut of uh, 263,000 just to make sure we've uh, cleared right through the part. And uh, it'll cut slightly into the fixture, but, uh, but that's okay. And uh, very shortly we'll have, a, uh, have another part which can be used to make, a, uh, make another set of very useful clamps uh, for clamping things on the mill table around in the home straight here. I never get tired of watching uh, watching the mill cut parts. It never gets old. I hope you guys are enjoying it and this video is going to be watched by a few people. Maybe I, uh, maybe I talk too much. I don't know. Maybe it'll all sound like silliness. But I'm having fun and uh, I hope uh, I hope you're having fun. So that's it. The mill is finished cutting now. It'll uh, it'll reset and it'll go back to a home position. And then uh, the lights will shut off. And the uh, the program has come to its natural conclusion. And the uh, cycle part time was uh, five minutes and fourteen seconds. And uh, a fairly simple program. There's only uh, eighty eight lines of code. 88 lines of code to generate that part and uh, after all the chips are done um, we have another one just like this and that's our video for today thanks for watching